Now let's take a look at an ephemeral port. Ephemeral port on a machine is a source port. And so this demo laptop will create a ephemeral port to communicate and establish a connection with another machine. Sometimes it can reuse those connections while other times it will establish a new connection. So let's take a look and see what that looks like on this machine. So first of all, we're gonna start by monitoring this ethernet connection. So I get the ethernet con connection going. I'm gonna generate some web traffic. So I'll bring up a, a browser. I'm gonna go to that demo pie site that we have. And we'll take a look at this. Uh, in this case right here, uh, we get this um, request right here. It's making an HTTP request. So we see now that it's 60,959 is the request that it makes. So it's using this TCP connection 60,959. So now what I'm gonna do is I, I'll open up a second source, uh, or excuse me, a, a second tab on here. I'm going to go to the same site, but in this case right here, I'm going to go index2.html. Uh, this is a, another um, web page that we had created. So I'm gonna go to that. It generates some more traffic. Uh, so 60,959, let's see what the new request is going to. So here's the, the request I just made, 60,960. So it is a, it's another uh, port that it's using with it. Um, and so that, that is a different port, although I believe if we look back here, it was established way back here. So 60,960. So essentially it already made this connection and it's just reusing this connection. So Chrome has something, some capability of keeping track of these conversations and using that same connection. But let's now let's take a look and see what happens if we bring up a new browser. So I'm gonna bring up Edge in this case right here. And we're going to go to the same website here and generate some traffic there. And we'll see if it, what it compares to. So this is, uh, this is uh, 60,959, 60,960. We just went to a new page here using Edge. So let's find that. Here's the HTTP, here's the request for that and we see that it's 61,011. So it, it is a different port, so it's keeping track. It's a different ephemeral port and keeping track of this conversation on a different port in this case. So Chrome is using essentially the same port that it had already established versus uh, when we bring up another browser now, it's making a new connection and establishing a different TCP connection for that communication. So we see that there is some capability of keeping track of these conversations on a on a uh, application level, um, but it, between applications, then perhaps we need to establish a new TCP connection to get that information. So that is ephemeral ports. You can see these ephemeral ports uh, that happen on the, uh, that are being randomly created on the demo laptop or our source machine that's actually making the request.